Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome, my name is Gary and for today's video I wanted to break up a little bit all the fashion content with a makeup video because I really wanted to share with you my everyday makeup routine for fall and this was inspired by one of my holy grail makeup products that I repurchased recently it's so good that I have to share it with you just in a second and I have to tell you that this will be super quick and easy everyday makeup with BB cream and for my everyday makeup I definitely go for more natural type of makeup so let's get right into this video first and one of the most important steps for me is to prep your skin to hydrate it and for this I use my The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid plus B5 serum it's very nice thick and moisturizing but it feels a lot on the skin it's not heavy at all at least for me I highly recommend it for dry skin and next the most important step I would say is the SPF and I love this Nivea Q10 anti-age and anti-pigment SPF 50 this smells so nice it's not heavy at all and doesn't leave a white residue at least on my skin and for a drugstore SPF I think it's a great option and if you don't use SPF in your everyday makeup definitely look into it then I go in with primer this is the Benefit Professional this makes my makeup look a lot more smoother and it lasts longer this right here is the Holy Grail makeup product I was talking about and uh, this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix BB Cream absolutely in love with this product it's so great, it's very hydrating, moisturizing it gives a radiance to your skin and it looks so fresh and youthful it has a vitamin mix it's anti-fatigue, 24 hour hydrating BB Cream amazing um, and I was using Garnier BB creams during the summer but I finally repurchased this product at least for fourth, fifth time, I don't even know and I remembered why I absolutely love this one for me this is the best BB cream but I would say for a more normal to dry skin it's quite dewy but I think you can also set it with powder and it can work for everyone and if you like glowy dewy skin finish for your face base this is amazing it provides such good coverage but it feels very lightweight on the skin it's amazing, it gives you the most beautiful, natural, no makeup, makeup look. This shade 0 to medium is my perfect shade when I'm not tan. And I just go in and blend the product using my fingers. I, th I feel like this works very well with, with BB creams just because you warm up the product and it really sinks into your skin. And I just add a little bit more of the products to the areas where I need a little bit more coverage with this product your skin tone just looks so even so fresh and youthful it has medium coverage feels super light on the skin and your skin just looks like your skin but better the next super important step for me is brows I've been using this product for months and months and months this is the l'oreal paradise brow pomade it's super easy to use the brush is so nice and i just like to go and fill in my brows i like the natural fluffy brow trend and i try to not to over fill them and i feel mainly the gaps where i'm missing some hairs and then i always set them with brow gel this is the benefit give me brow in shade 3 because if you don't set your eyebrows you will miss at least half of them by the end of the day for concealer I've been loving the Maybelline Fit Me this is the shade number 15 and I do a few little dots under my eyes and I leave it like that while I'm doing the rest of my makeup while I'm doing my eyes and this makes the concealer thicker and it gives you more coverage for my eyes I love using neutral tones and I will keep the eyes super matte and simple I feel like this is more 
all vibes so i first go in with my hula bronzer in my crease just to define my eyes and give it a little bit of definition the raggedy bronzer a little bit to the outer corner of my eyes to get this more of a cat eye look next i will use this orangey brown pumpkin color from the Kali palette and I try to concentrate it at the other corner and just lightly blend it in into the inner corner of the eye I really love these colors for fall so warm and rich they give me all the fall vibes and the main thing that I focus on my eye makeup is just to make sure to blend in the colors very very well and I really like the all matte look and last to open up the eyes because I have quite small hooded eyes I will use a super light matte shade like this on my eyelid to make the eyes to make the eyes more bright and open and with the same shade, I very lightly highlight my brow bone. It's time to blend in this concealer. This one is so lightweight and I feel like it really works and brightens up your under eye area. I don't really have dark circles, but I love the brighter under eye makeup look. And I will finish all the eyes with a little bit of bronzer on my lower lash line. Next with the same color bronzer, I think this is the perfect shade to warm up and also lightly contour your face. This is a very nice neutral shade, it's not too warm, it's, it's not too warm, it's not too orangey, it's not grey at all and especially for everyday makeup look, this bronzer is just perfect. Next up is highlight, something I don't want to miss for my makeup But this makeup is all about the matte makeup looks So I very lightly dab into the golden shade from glow to go palette from Essence And I hit pan like really hard It's almost gone and I very lightly dab it at the highest points of my cheeks Another new step that I implemented into my makeup is that I do very little wing with eyeshadow. I use my NARS Skin Deep palette. You get all the brown neutral shades. So I dab in the very dark almost brown shade. And I very lightly with the angled eyeliner brush just line the outer part of my eye and I drag it very lightly to create a nice small cute wing. And the key to create a nice wing is to look straight forward. Ah, this is it for me. I just try to elongate my upper lash line. And I also very lightly smoke it out on the lower lash line. And I set my face base with a little bit of translucent powder. This one is the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. Another step that I feel like is quite game changing for me is that I started curling my lashes. I love the look, it makes them a lot more prominent, beautiful and the curl is just amazing. It opens up the eyes so much and makes your eyelashes look super big and curly. For mascara, I'm using a little bit of the Bad Girl Bang mascara from Benefit. And after curling them, I see the biggest difference. Honestly, if you haven't tried this, do it. I don't know why I wasn't doing it, but believe me, it does all the difference. And a little bit on the bottom lashes as well. This camera doesn't pick all the details, but believe me, in a real life in person, I noticed the biggest difference with curling my eyelashes. So definitely try this step and you will love it, I promise. Next, I almost forgot one of my favorite steps. This is blush. I use matte blush. This is 20. Bear me from Essence. Blush just brings your face back to life after all of the powders. It looks very fresh, very youthful. And don't be stingy with blush. It fades very quickly. So feel free to add a little bit more when you do your makeup. 
I've said it before, my favorite step is lips. And for this makeup, I will do matte lip and I will use the NYX Nude Truffle. And this is such a good drugstore matte liquid lipstick. I feel like nobody is talking about it, but this is the Stay Matte from Rimmel. These are really nice. They have mousse consistency. They are very light on the lips and doesn't dry them out, which for me is usually the issue with matte lipsticks. So I first line my lips and fill them a little bit with the lip pencil. And then I go in with this very beautiful neutral brown color. This is zero, it's 700 Be My Baby. And this is the perfect brownish nude color. A bit of setting spray to seal up the makeup and this is the NYX matte finish. This is where I would usually finish my everyday makeup look and when I'm not filming it on camera this usually takes me between 10 and 15 minutes but today I feel that I want to go a little bit more extra and I want to add this accent very natural false lashes these are the KISS I think it's 01 natural I cut them in half just to have them at the outer corner of the eyes to use them as an accent lashes this adds so much character to your makeup look these are as you can see very tiny very small eyelashes and they actually look natural so if you're like me and you have more hooded small eyes and accent lashes like these are perfect and as i told you i just cut these in half so I'll put them on and I'll be And the lashes are done too. You can see these are super light. You can barely notice them. A very natural look, especially if you need a little bit more lash definition like me. These are perfect and they just really accentuate your eyes. So I think this is it for my full everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel for more fashion lifestyle content. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.